everybody. So I thought that I would just film a little vlog because I haven't filmed one for a while and I just finished filming a wig review for this cute little little wig. So I think the wig review will probably come out before the vlog, but um, this is On Edge by Gabor and you'll hear more about her in the review. But um, anyway, I just thought I would check in on everybody. We are day, I don't know what, how many days have we been quarantined? Ah, oh, the entire world. <laughs> This is just crazy. You know, I don't think there's ever been an event like this in my lifetime that I had an effect on the whole world at once, you know? Um, one thing I love about my Instagram and about this YouTube is that it reaches the whole world. You know, people can, um, from anywhere can watch it on, on YouTube or, you know, access my Instagram. My Instagram is open to the public. Um, and uh, so I have really loved this whole, you know, worldwide connection. And now we're all connected through this crazy, you know, coronavirus stuff. And um, I actually got the swine flu when it came around. It was like 2009 or 2010 or something. And, um, you know, but there wasn't anything, any kind of protocol like this. It was just like, well, you might get sick kind of thing. Um, so we've come a long way. And I think that this is you know, a good thing, even though it's not fun. And um, it's been fun in some ways and not fun in others. I mean, it's it's been fun to actually be able to sit down and have the time to read a book. <laughs> I started reading again, which has been nice. My husband and I started working on a jigsaw puzzle yesterday, which I'm not sure that that's a hobby that I necessarily enjoy. I'm still trying to figure it out if it's something I enjoy. But anyway, um, we've had lots of togetherness, you know. Um, I never knew the value of toilet paper and paper towels until this happened. I mean, seriously, someone has a garage full of toilet paper and paper towels. And when this is over, I don't know if they're going to try to sell it. I don't know if they're trying to sell it now. I don't know, but I never realized the value of paper products and that they would be hoarded and fought over and things like that. I just think that's crazy. We, uh, I had bought, uh, we took a little trip not too long ago and um, we actually traveled the week of spring break and that was before all the quarantine stuff came up. That was spring break for us. I'm sorry, it's not spring break for everybody. That was the week of March the 9th. So we already had a trip to California planned and so we went to California for three days and it was our whole family, me and my two boys, even, including my college age son, which we were, you know, my husband and I realized that we don't know how many trips we have left with this college kid because he's gonna go start living his life, right? So, um, so we didn't want to cancel it and everything was just starting to kind of bubble up, you know, in the U.S. and there wasn't really any protocol yet. So we went ahead and took our trip and, um, you know, I have to say the planes, I've never been on planes that were so clean. Uh, they were disinfected by every passenger that sat down in the seat. <laughs> we were wiping like crazy. Uh, the woman in front of me was like popping vitamins in her kids' mouths. It was pretty entertaining. You know, I thought that was going a little bit overboard. I actually used to be a dental assistant. I don't know how many people know that, but um, I've shared that a little bit, I think, on my Instagram. But So I used to be a dental assistant. So infection control and infection control protocol is not anything new to me. And um, I have to say, I was, very, I was very happy with the infection control on the plane. I was happy to see that people were wiping stuff down. I was happy to see they were taking it seriously. A lot of people were wearing masks. Um, which I thought was, I found kind of entertaining because I used to have to wear those, you know. And um, so anyway, you know, not that I'm making fun of them, but what I'm saying is it was just kind of weird to be surrounded by people in masks after having to wear a mask for 12 years, you know. I'm sure other healthcare workers have felt the same way, like, hmm. It was also entertaining to see that a lot of people don't know how to wear a mask. But, um, you know, if it gave them a sense of security, I guess it's okay. But there's a proper way to wear one in a in a proper way not to wear one, but you know, whatever. Any little barrier is probably better than no barrier at all, right? So, um, and particularly if you have health issues. So um, anyway, that was entertaining. So we went out to California and we were most of the time outside. So I wasn't really worried about, you know, germs and being around crowds and stuff like that. The only thing where we were around a, where we were around a crowd was we did go to the Price is Right and we got to be in the audience. We didn't get to play, unfortunately, but, um, so we got to be in the audience and um, we were in a crowd then, but everybody was healthy and they were asking questions, you know, when people came in, you know, do you have any flu symptoms? Do you have this? But of course, 
the protocol wasn't there yet for them to exactly know, you know, what to ask. I think now they can't even, well, no, they can't have an audience now, which is kind of sad. So, um, so we did get in on that and that was super fun. I highly recommend that. Go to a game show, even if you're just in the audience. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. And even my kids who don't watch the show, they were, they loved it. They thought it was so much fun. So that was a fun family activity. And then the rest of the time we just, you know, walked and, and we were outside. And, um, so it was a really fun trip, but anyway, so we came back and since we had traveled, we, we put ourselves in a 14 day quarantine. And I guess that ends about right today. Um, cause we came back on a Thursday, the 12th, I think it was. And so anyway, I'm just blabbing, but so that's, what's been going on with me. And other than that, I've just been, you know, enjoying just trying to be positive and, um, you know, my faith is something that's very important to me. So my little mantra right now is faith over fear. You know, fear is going to be down here. Faith is going to be up here. Um, because I know that that God is real and he's present and he has not gone anywhere. He has not gone from this. He is mourning this and hurting as people are sick and, and as people are losing their lives and as people are just, you know, uncomfortable, even if they just get a mild form of this, you know, he doesn't like to see us sick. And um, so I initially was watching the news and I kind of gave into the fear a little bit. And then I decided, nope. And I shut off the news and I opened the Bible and that has been my source. Um, not that I'm not, you know, I'm listening to the press conference. I'm getting the information, but I'm just not, you know, just absorbing news like a sponge. I'm trying to absorb scripture like a sponge. So, but that's just the way I, that's the way I handle it as a follower of Christ. That's what I believe in. So, um, I'm just trying to let my faith, you know, increase and my fear decrease. Um, and really I don't, feel very fearful. My parents are both well. Uh, they have been, you know, staying in as much as they can. I got them a few supplies and literally, <laughs> I met them at a, they had a doctor's appointment and I met them in the parking lot. My mom opened the back of her van. I ran the toilet paper over, put it in the back of her van, shut the van, gave her a, you know, salute and a blew her a kiss and we had no contact with each other, you know, just to keep them healthy as well. So, you know, it may seem crazy and extreme, but who wants, you know, I don't want my elderly parents to get this. So, you know, I don't, at that point we were still in, that was last week before we'd been through the 14 days, you know, from our trip. So I hope that you guys are well. Um, as far as content, you know, I know that shipping has been slowed a little bit on wigs. I purchased this one from a wig sister and received it right before we went on our trip. So I just got this one reviewed. And then after that, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I think my content might may slow down a little bit. I've been kind of struggling with, um, you know, there've been some new styles that have come out, but nothing that really, um, I felt like would be a good style for me. And I don't know, I, nothing has come out that's really, grabbed me, you know, so there are a few styles that I think I want to try that I haven't tried yet, but they're wigs that have been reviewed before. Um, so I'm thinking about those or I'm just really not sure. I'm just trying to make a decision about if I want to order anything right now or if I just want to kind of let things, you know, lay low while, as we get through this, you know, together. But I do want to reach out to you guys and I hope that you are all well. Um, I'll tell you one thing that I am just starving for is human contact. I never realized how much I want to be around people. I'm kind of an introvert, extrovert. I don't mind being alone. I don't mind having a long time. I don't mind having home time at all. Um, but then I need to fill those other gaps with seeing people. And I'm a hugger, so I'm suffering in that area. My hug -a meters going down, you know, and I need my, my hug -a meter to be pumped back up. So, um, so let's hug, you know, put your arms out like this. And then let's give each other a big hug. Oh, it's so good to see you. Oh, thank you. I can feel it. Um, so there's a hug from, from between all of us, I hope. So anyway, um, so we'll see what's ahead on the wig front. I'm definitely, you know, going to have wig reviews in the future. I just, I'm not sure about the shipping. And, you know, I totally understand that the wig companies, they need to keep their people safe too. And um, so, you know, We'll just see uh, what's ahead on that front. But, um, you know, I'm hoping that we'll be through this 
in a few weeks and life will go back to normal because I definitely am missing normal life as I'm sure all of you are too. So, um, Oh, I can't think of anything else. If you guys have some suggestions for wigs that you'd like to see, you're welcome to put them down in the comments. I know I got a request for Kristen um, a while back when I did when I did my last vlog, and I haven't picked up a Kristen. Um, as far as wigs that I thought I would share, you know, kind of wigs I've been wearing lately, I've uh, been wearing a lot of my human hair wigs. That Ellen Villa Appeal wig, I'll tell you what, I just love that girl. She is just... She's medium length, so she's easy to wear. Um, she's fun to style. She's very natural looking. I really love that wig, and I've been wearing her probably more than anything. I've also been wearing my um, Gardo wig, the shorter one. I wear that one a lot. I throw that one on a lot. And then I've been liking this little on edge wig. I've worn her some just to get used to her and, and get a feel for her, but she's gonna be super cute for the summer. And then I love my Gabor Opulence wig. I also wear my uh, Caliente um, wig by Beltress uh, quite a bit. That wig I took on vacation and um, just a great wavy wig. And I love a synthetic when it's humid or windy or whatever, you know, you just don't have to worry about losing your style like you. My human hair wigs don't lose their style too bad but um you know it's more of a concern and especially if it's going to be kind of damp and rainy then synthetic it's synthetic all the way and i love i wear that beltress wig a lot for that um i've been wearing my cameron um my husband really loves that cameron bob um, i won that one from pretty wigs to you in a little contest and so i've been wearing her and i think that's about it i I'm still trying to decide what I want to do with that fortune wig that I reviewed a while back, that long one that I was saying. I, I'm really, really tempted to get her cut into an edgy bob. I hate to cut off all that pretty human hair, but I just, I'm, I'm tempted to do it. So still, still trying to decide. That's something that I definitely want to add to my collection is some kind of a bob in human hair. So I've been thinking about getting a push wig from Andrea at Wig Studio One but I've got to sell some wigs and save up some money to be able to do that. So, um, so I'm just thinking about getting the Eileen wig um, and trying one of those possibly. So other than that, um, you know, we are all in this together. I hope that y'all are well, take care of yourselves, stay healthy. If you have this illness, you are in my prayers. Um, you know, I've just been praying for everybody, people suffering from it, people, um, who might get it, people who are in risk groups, and then just those of us who we may never get sick, but we have to go through this quarantine, quarantine that has, you know, changed our lives so much. So, um, so anyway, um, I hope you're well, take care of yourselves, and um, thanks for continuing to support my channel and watch my videos. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. So, mwah, hugs, kisses, take care of yourself. Love you guys. Um, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye-bye.